Hi guys, this is Daniel. Um, welcome to the first of many videos. This is my uh, workbench, this is my room, my man cave as I mentioned. Here's my helicopters, my old 3D printer and uh, washing machine. Yep, gotta use that. Um, this is the TiVo Tarantula. This is the printer I print with the uh, 4D overhead for now. I hope uh, we'll get uh, more features out of it and more uh, cockpit parts. Uh, right now we're printing the standby, standby power panel. Uh, this is the base. Yeah, this is the base layer. Um, this is right now what's happening. Uh, software slicer program actually tells me where it should be so you can compare with it if something went wrong or whatever uh, this will be the top layer um, and we, right now we're like yeah, 370 minutes away from finishing the panels top and bottom um, we're 8 minutes ahead um, yeah so this is a, an update for the overhead panels right now we're half away I think we're a little bit half, more than half, actually. We just get them out. Yeah, so there's a little bit more here. A circuit breaker, for example. This was finished, I guess, like one day ago, two days ago. Um, yeah, so I want to show you this difference for example let me get this out All right so the difference right now is that these are not painted this one is painted with these um, this acrylic paint oh, the base layer as you can see it it's a little bit more glossy and um, this top layer of the APU gen is painted with um, non-plastic spray paint uh, which I really didn't like even the color I got the matte white I don't like it I want to change it and this one is the primer this one you have to prime your plastic right before you paint so the paint will uh, stick right onto it and you have to send it with same paper this is a 100 cent paper. It's a little bit too aggressive, but yeah, that's what I had. And uh, another fine paper, um, which is good for finishing the part. This one is with uh, both of them, so it's really good. Um, and my basic uh, consideration right now is the time. It just takes too much time. And the uh, filament that I chose, the color of the filament at first is this. Uh, it looks okay, but it's it's not so good in the finish. Well, you can see this is the bottom because I have a glass painting, right? Yeah. Uh, printing on it, of course, a painting. Um, it looks okay in the finish, it's rather good, but this is the top. Uh, this is what we see. And uh, I didn't want to leave it that way, so I'm right now considering rather doing all this, this, and a little bit more of my uh, printing panels to try and st send it. It just takes too much time, uh, and I'll have to decide whether I do it or not. But I guess I'll do it. I already started, and I can't stop uh, doing something I already uh, began. So yeah, this is a little bit of an update, this is the first of many, um, I'll keep you guys uh, updated, right, so see you, see you next time.